Hi, I'm Elaine and my website is countryhomeandheart.net and tonight I'm going to be baking some butter baked cod fillets for our dinner tonight and we're going to start out, um, we're going to get started with this so what you're going to need is about, I'd say that's about a pound of cod fillets and they were just, I bought them frozen and I thawed them out and then we have about a quarter of a cup or a quarter of a stick, half a stick of butter that I have melted in the microwave and what we're going to do, this is a really simple recipe, what we're going to do is just dip the codfish in the butter and put it on the baking sheet. So let's get started with that. Just dip it both sides in that melted butter. Put it on the baking sheets. a little bonus piece I'm going to throw in. Okay, and so we're going to move this over here so you can see what I'm doing next. Put this aside. Okay, and um, what I'm going to do next is take a little bit of salt. We're going to give. We're just going to salt these. and a little bit of pepper, just a little bit, not much. Okay, and then we're going to take some Old Bay seasoning and I'm going to sprinkle these with Old Bay. And that'll give them a really good taste. This seasoning works really well with fish. Most seafood that I've ever used it in. I even put it in my hush puppies when I make homemade hush puppies. Okay, and then I'm going to take some panko breadcrumbs, about a tablespoon maybe per cod fillet, and I'm just going to put kind of mash these down onto the top. And just mash those right in. And again, I'm just going to kind of pat them in. And this is, again, it's a really simple recipe. This would be a good one to make when you got home from work because you can see there's not a whole lot to this one. But it's very, very good. Most people really like it. Okay, now I'm going to take this leftover butter that I have and I'm just going to kind of pour this over them what's left. Just kind of drizzle it over the top of the fish. All right, there we go. Okay, now this is going to bake in the oven for just about 35 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes until the cod is good and browned, until the cod is done and it flakes, flakes easily with a fork. So I'm going to set this in the oven. set my timer. I'm going to set this for 30 minutes and while this is cooking I'm going to do some green beans. Uh, these are just canned green beans and all I did was put in maybe a teaspoon and a half or so of bacon grease and I just cook down the water and get them as dry as I can without burning them and so we'll cook that water down it'll take maybe 15 minutes so i'll have that done i'll start that about 15 minutes after this bakes so when the codfish fillets get done we'll be back okay we're back and the codfish is done and you can see how it baked up really nice and golden and those panko crumbs are going to make it pretty crispy on the outside now there's how it should be done. It's flaking. See how that's flaking? That's showing that that is done. Okay, and this plate here, this is my plate. It's my husband's plate, and there's my iced tea. He's already got his iced tea. And 
so we are ready to eat. Now I did bake this at 375 degrees and it took, because these were thicker pieces, it took about 40 minutes instead of 30. 30. So um, you just have to keep checking it because it does depend on the thickness of the fish, but this took about 40. So, and he said he wasn't real hungry, so we're just going to have green beans with this. I didn't fix a lot of other stuff. So, um, okay, and we are ready to eat. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.